Welcome to our strategy project in which we are going to present a wonderful and magic company, the Walt Disney Company. We must start saying that we decided to concentrate on the Walt Disney Studios division of Walt Disney. Let's start with a brief introduction. The Walt Disney Studios is an American film studio div divided in several entities such as Walt Disney Studios, Lucasfilm, Pixar, Marvel and so on. In 2016, the studios generated an estimated income of $2,703 billion, which is 17% of the main revenue of the group. If we concentrate on the classic offline industry of media entertainment, we can recognize three main competitors. Comcast Corporation, 21st Century Fox and Time Warner. Mission, values and vision of the company are clearly stated by the Walt Disney Company. The mission of the Walt Disney Company is to be one of the world's leading producers and providers of entertainment and information, using the portfolio of brands to differentiate their, pro their content and develop the most creative, innovative and profitable entertainment experience in the world. The vision of Walt Disney is a lot more simple and easy to remember. To make people happy. Five essential components of the Disney culture can be highlighted as values. Innovation, quality, positivity, tradition, and decency. This first insight of the company after a long internal and external analysis had us coming up with the following summary of the strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats of the Walt Disney Company. The main strengths we came up with were strong brand reputation and product portfolio, production and post-production quality, global presence, a strong loyalty from its consumers, and a real concern for environmental issues. The main weaknesses we can highlight are high cost of production and operation, the lack of online presence, and the fact that the revenues are mainly focused on the North American market. The opportunities we identified in our external analysis are the technological development like virtual reality, simulcam, 3D and so on, the middle class of the emerging economies and the new online distribution channels. And finally, the main threat we, ma we managed to find were the change in the distribution channels since online watching is becoming increasingly important. The antitrust laws that are blocking Disney vertical and horizontal development, the strong competition and new entrants like Netflix or Google, and the tight legal framework that differs from one country to another. Matching in pairs the divisions of the SWOT analysis had us coming up with a ton of considerations and challenges in a TAUS analysis. We managed to cluster most of them, but they still were too many, so we used the effect-cause-effect approach to reduce even more the number of challenges that we had to deal with. All of this being done, we managed to end up with four core challenges. The first one would be to improve the digital platforms of the company like Disney Live, or make strong agreement with existing platforms like Netflix, Google or Amazon. Indeed, Disney has a very strong presence on traditional distribution channels like TV or cinema, but is totally absent on the over-the-top online market. That is why we thought Disney should focus on the on-demand market on the many devices OTT tends to be broadcasted. We believe Disney should seek to reach 25% of the online markets by 2022. The second core challenge would be to produce the most innovative and high standard movies using new technologies to provide experiences instead of just classic movies. Walt Disney Studio was the first animated long movie production studio. What if it could also become the first virtual reality experience provider? The new technologies that are being created by the Disney Research Center should allow this project to come true by 2022. The third challenge we came up with was to widen the product portfolio. In the last 10 years, Disney has kept on taking as least risks as possible by basing its movie production strategy on remakes, reboots, acquisitions and franchises, which means that there are very few original stories that are created in a year time. We believe that getting back to original creation of stories would be the best way to evolve for the company. 
On average, the company is doing one blockbuster creation per year, so trying to do two might be a good way to measure if this challenge is overcome. The last challenge for Disney would be to try to be a lot more present in the middle class of new emerging economies. The Walt Disney Company has always been very focused on the North American market, which represents 77% of its revenue. By creating a global international marketing mix, Disney should manage to evenly divide its revenue between North America, Europe, Latin America and Asia Pacific.